You want to come sit with me? Come on up. Hey guys, I'm Megan Graham and this is awkward. <laughs> oh. Hey guys, I'm Megan Graham and this video is all about are hair extensions right for me? So this is a huge question that I get at the salon all the time. Unfortunately, most of the people that want hair extensions may not actually be the best candidates. I was once one of those people that shouldn't have hair extensions and got them anyway. So I had a horrific, I mean terrible, I still think about it, I have nightmares about it, haircut in college and it was super short and I tried to get hair extensions. This did not look good at all because basically hair extensions are usually, and it just excuse the fact that I have a dog that's just walking over my lap while I talk, but anyway, so hair extensions are usually applied in this area right here and the top of your hair falls over your hair extensions and hides them. So if you don't have enough hair to hide the hair extension bonds, they're going to look terrible and it's gonna be really obvious that you have hair extensions. When you go to blow dry your hair, it's also going to put a lot of pressure on the bonds because all of the hair is not your own. So you're just tugging at all of those bonds. The people that are the best matches and should get hair extensions are people that have hair that's shoulder length, that have a haircut that's not a solid line. If your haircut is a solid line and you extend your hair with extensions, it's very obvious where your extensions start and where your real hair ends. So if you come in and you have a really strong bob, the only way that someone can give you hair extensions and have them look realistic is to basically cut into the bottom of your bob and shatter the bottom of your hair thinning out that line so that there's not a sharp line, which means that when you take out your hair extensions, you've cut into a lot of your hair and all of your hair is not falling to the bottom. It's a possibility, it's something that you can do, but it's not something that everybody is dying to do to their hair. A lot of people call my hair salon and they call and they say that their hair is thinning and they want to get hair extensions. And obviously it breaks my heart because I would love to give them a solution and I would love to say that if they were to get hair extensions, it's going to look great. But the reality is that if your hair is already thinning and it's already falling out, the last thing that you want to do is to put in hair extensions because you're going to be putting added pressure on that hair and you're gonna lose it even faster. So if that is the case, I would honestly say that the best thing that you could possibly do is get a beautiful wig and they make gorgeous human hair wigs. So please don't feel like you're gonna be sacrificing because you can look fantastic and you won't be damaging your hair at the same time. People that look great and also wear hair extensions well would be people whose hair is in good condition and they're able to stick to a maintenance program. So if you get hair extensions and you think that you're just not going to go back to the salon and you're gonna wait for those hair extensions to fall out, you are not a good candidate for hair extensions because at the end of the day, you're going to ruin your hair quality and you're not gonna be left with the same hair that you had before. So if I were looking for my ideal candidate at the salon, I would be looking for someone that's really comfortable with maintenance that has strong enough hair to support the hair extensions, is not losing their hair in any way, not more than the normal amount of shedding, um, and also that realizes that hair extensions are fairly high maintenance and expensive to install as well as to upkeep. So I have been wearing hair extensions for years, but my hair is actually just as long as my hair extensions. So all I really have is just a few pieces just to make my hair a little bit more blonde and a little bit more full. But if I took out my extensions, you almost wouldn't notice the difference. When I was younger, I went to New York and I got a haircut at a very fancy salon. I was so excited about it. And instead of a good haircut, they gave me a mullet. So these little short pieces, they cut these all the way back here and the sides of my hair were gone. I had to wear six bundles of extensions and it did look really good and there was honestly no way that I could have worn my hair without the hair extensions, but it also added a lot of blow drying time on because instead of just having my normal already very thick hair, I had not quite twice as much, but just under twice as much hair. And it took me a long time to blow dry my hair. That said, it was a better option than not having them, but it was still an expensive and time consuming option. So I'm not trying to talk you out of getting hair extensions. I absolutely love them. I think they're beautiful, but the best candidates are people that are ready to maintain, that have fairly strong hair, 
And if you ever look at really good before and after pictures, what you're going to see is that the hair in the before pictures usually looks a little bit shattered and broken if the after picture looks great. The only, the only time that this isn't true is in my case, I do have healthy hair before I put in extensions, but when I put in the extensions, it just fills it out a little bit more because they are exactly to my length. So I don't really have to even wear a hair extension color that matches my hair because I could add a highlight or a low light as I'm not looking to blend. If I was looking to lengthen, I would have to have an absolutely perfect blend and I would need to wear quite a lot of hair because I have thick hair already. So one of the reasons that salons won't give you an exact quote on price when you call in to look for hair extensions is that there are so many variables. The stylist really needs to be able to see your hair, see how long the extensions need to be, find out exactly what you're looking for, and figure out exactly how many bundles or packages of hair it would take to get to that point. So there's a lot of different variables and it's really important to talk to the client beforehand. I hope that this helps you and if you are a great candidate for hair extensions, they're absolutely the most beautiful thing and you can keep your hair in great, great condition if they are treated properly, removed properly, and worn for the right amount of time. If you're not a good candidate for hair extensions and you get them, you could look unnatural, you could waste a lot of money, and you could damage your hair. So I think it's really important to make sure that if you're getting hair extensions, they make sense for you. And I am very, very honest in my job, so I will always tell someone if they're a good idea or a bad idea because I just don't want them to waste their money, but not every single person that does them is going to tell you whether they're a good idea or not. So it's really important to do your research and decide for yourself whether they're a great idea. We always do a consultation at the salon, and if we don't think that someone's hair quality can be maintained, then we just don't do the extensions because it's not worth any amount of money if I'm going to damage someone's hair. I hope that this video helped and if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. If you think it could have been better, then give it a thumbs down. If you have any more questions about hair extensions or you'd like me to go into further detail, just ask me a question and please make a comment below. I always appreciate it and I appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel. So thanks again and I look forward to seeing you guys soon. Stay healthy and stay beautiful. Bye guys.